Well, I'm joined by Rahim Kassam, a UKIP leadership candidate, editor-in-chief of Breitbart in London, and also former uh, right-hand man Sir Nigel Farage. What, what do you think's happened here to, to Sir Stephen and his ambition to to be leader? I think Stephen's been through a really tough time. I think he went through a gruelling leadership campaign last time and I think the tactics got really nasty. Um, I don't think we should see that inside our own party. I think we're a family uh, and it shouldn't come to those things and I think Stephen was particularly more than anyone on the receiving end of this bullying quite frankly. Right, the, the, the leadership situation now, um, would you support Nigel Farage saying look I'm going to stay on or I'm going to I'm going to stand in this leadership election? He obviously seems to be the only one who can hold the party together. He's told me he's not going to, um, so I'm going to take him at his be, word. You'd, you'd, you'd like it if he did. So, I mean, the, I mean, other than that, it would slightly thwart your ambition. It's up to, it's up to him. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm young, I'm all right. Um, it's up to him. I think there is a lot of appetite within the party for Nigel Farage, but actually I've already said that if I become the leader, he will be the honorary president of the party. Um, right. So, you know, I think it needs to retain him in some way, shape or form. UKIP is Nigel, Nigel is UKIP. Right. Um, so, I mean, so some titular post that sort of yeah keeps him on the side. Yeah, of it. I think it's the other thing. candidate who now, because there were NEC determinations today about the rules, Suzanne Evans, frequent guest on this program yeah. actually, um, she can stand this time. She was blocked last time. Yep. Um, would you welcome her as a candidate in this in this race? Absolutely. I, I've always said throughout this whole you know the last crazy ten days um, that actually we should have an open contest. And you could serve under her. So if she won, you'd be absolutely delighted to serve under Suzanne Evans because. We all know the party is riven by, sure. by splits and divisions, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're in a different division to her. But could you unite under Suzanne Evans? Well, it's a tough question. I'm <laughs> not sure she would take the party in the direction that I would want it to go, so I'm not sure about serving under her, but I would certainly commit to this, which is not attacking her if she won the leadership. Right, so you could, but you, could, you might even leave the party if she became leader. No, I wouldn't you, go that you far. Wouldn't, you wouldn't, no. you would, you wouldn't no, not leave. at all. I think people need to stick with this. They need Brexit. They want real solutions. They don't want a one-party state. You know, they want real opposition to the Tories, Labour's not delivering it, UKIP has the opportunity. Can I ask you a question? Who are you supporting in the American election? I would probably support Donald Trump. Yeah, because it's rather interesting, Patrick O'Flynn, mm. who was himself a candidate in the, uh, in, in the general tweet. election, and uh, he tweeted, the choice ahead for UKIP, this is sort of, in a way, it, it sort of encapsulates everything, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Is whether to be the patriotic party of the common sense centre of UK mm -hmm. politics, or go Trump, alt-right. Mm -hmm. uh, he says he says former and isn't that is that doesn't that just encapsulate the split in your party between I the trump that ones? tweet and what i didn't see your reply i what said you say? i said it's a silly false dichotomy we are all common sense patriots we you need to come trump together a common as a sense party, party. A common no sense i think everybody person. in ukip is a common sense patriot and they need but to come don't together don't you think there are a lot of people who basically think trump is a you know a completely off the scale i who know <laughs> yeah. who would who would say if you're if you're a trump person mm. I'm not for you. I mean, mm. Trump has obviously divides the world, doesn't Look. he? He's, he's, he's Look, we're in central like... London right now. It's disgusting to support Donald Trump in central London. No, no, no. I'm, but saying, I... I'm, I'm not taking a view on it. I'm saying there are people. No, no, but I'm explaining if, this. If you tell us that Trump is an inspiration to you, then they're, they're well, going to say... now you're putting to... words in my to... mouth. You know, it's, it's not so much that I think Trump is an inspiration to me. I just think Hillary Clinton would be very bad for the United States of America. That's, that's all it comes down to, quite frankly. Who is right. better? Okay. Just one last one. Do you think there's a sort of fight gene in UKIP supporters? And I, and I don't just mean in, 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 the, in the boxing match or, or whatever cuffs. happened, or fisticuffs, but you, you all seem to just pick arguments the whole time with each other, with other people. You on Twitter tonight arguing with... Al Murray. Murray. Yeah. I mean, what is it about you guys and fighting? Well, Al Murray's funny and, and it's nice to pick fights with Al Murray because he gets the jocular <laughs> element of it as well. You know, there's a lot of tongue in cheek, by the way, behind a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Don't, don't be fooled into thinking it's all animosity all the time. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of playfulness going on here, right? And honestly, you know, I know you're looking at me really skeptically. I, I, I mean that, but I also think that, that it has come to a point where it's too much. And that is because of the existential crisis in UKIP. It doesn't know what it stands for. It doesn't know where it's going. I've already committed. I want to make the party great again. And I've told people how I'm Raheem. going to do it. 100,000 members Raheem. if I'm leader. Kassam, thank you very much.